Hello, my name is Paul Duck, and today I will be showing you Amits 3.7 uh, or AMIDST or Advanced Minecraft Interface Data Structure Tracking. That's a mouthful to remember. But what it does basically is if you plug in a seed, I've generated a random seed here, but let's go File New from Seed and then just any random seed. Select the world type, you can choose either of the world types that are currently available in the game. This is interfacing with Minecraft version 1.8, which is the current release version. So let's do that and it will generate a new world. And as you can see, this little marker here is where you will spawn, roughly. It's accurate, relatively. And then it will show you all these different things like where your strongholds are. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there. And it will show you where villages are. There's one there and one there, and it'll give you coordinates, and obviously it'll tell you where the different biomes spawn. So for example, if you were to want to find a mushroom island, they are pink, and there's three there, and there's one in the middle of a desert, and the savannah over there, and there's one down there. Basically, it will show you all the different biomes, it will show you things like witch huts, um, it will show you things like desert temples, uh, it will show you... Um, what else? Jungle temples. Let's see if we can find one of those. Here we are. Jungle temples. There we are. Down here. Let me zoom in as much as I like to see the rivers and stuff. But yeah, it will tell you roughly where everything is. It's pretty accurate. I've used this myself on one particular world. Where's the spawn? There's the spawn. Um, but you can have it highlight different biomes for example if you want forest hills highlighted it will show you all the forest hills it's useful for finding biomes that you want uh, let's see let's go for savannah there's none there savannah. Uh, jungle no desert hills and there are no desert hills beach gonna highlight some beach it's not gonna highlight anything oh there we are found swamp Lovely. But yeah, I'll turn off that. It's uh, not entirely accurate, but you can go to things like uh, you can set defaults for things, you can go to a coordinate or a player, uh, you can uh, set the layers that you want. So if you want to show slime chunks, it shows all the slime chunks. Uh, let's turn that off because it's quite um, overbearing. So if we were to go to from a file or folder and select say that one it will show you this it will take the seed from that map and it will generate a world with it or uh, if it, that's an already existing world in, in my profile but um, I'll probably exist generate it using a previous thing or you can just click random and it will just generate you a new world and if you like it you can plug that seed uh, copy seed to clipboard and then you can just plug it into Minecraft. For example, this would be a really good seed because there is a village right next to spawn. Well, relatively close to spawn. And then you've got quite a few biomes around that would be quite nice. And loads of things within reach. So I'm just going to use this seed. So I'm going to file, sorry, map, copy seed to clipboard. And then I'm going to open Minecraft and I'm going to go using this world, going to go see this village just to show you it works. Okay, so I will return momentarily. Okay, so here we are in Minecraft. I'm going to single player. Create new world. Uh, miss test video and world options and let's paste in that seed which is the same one from the software. Uh, everything is fine. I'll allow cheats on. Create new world. Here we go. Almost, uh, I assume, I don't know. Isn't this meant to have a loading bar? Or did it, did it used to have a loading bar? I don't know. Here we go. Okay. Right. As the world just generates here. I'm just going to check the coordinates of that village. And the coordinates are effectively 100, 100 ish. Okay, so let's open that up. Yep, 
Nope. Must be this way. Yep, it's this way. Dropping some frames there because the world's still generating. But yeah. So firstly 100, 100 ish, or at 100, 100 we'd be at a point where we can see it. Oh, you can see it down there. So it proves it works. And there's a bunny rabbit. But yeah, there's lots of bunny rabbits. Ouch. It's just cheap. Eh. Flying's easy. It's quite a nice village actually. Village actually. But yeah, it proves it works. Shows that um, it's a thing you can use if you so desire. It's a bit cheaty, but can I give these to? Ra oh, I can't give these to rabbits. What happens if I give them to rabbits? They were baby rabbits. But yeah, that's all from me. It's a nice little video. Um, while well, I'm continually dropping frames. But yeah, um, thank you for watching. Um, don't really have anything else to... Oh, I didn't know the village that she farmed! I didn't actually know they did this. Would this one sell me carrots? It is a farmer, so he would. Anyway, that's quite interesting. I learn something every day. I don't play Minecraft much anymore. But yeah, um, it's all is free. Um, the latest version, which is a 1.8 compatible version, is only available via the author's GitHub. So there's a release section there, so I will link directly to it in the description. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.